I think the, the biggest challenges in different parts of the world is, is of course, different. But uh, um, I believe that the um, injustice in healthcare um, exists, unfortunately, in most of the develop, developing countries. And that has to be solved. Because uh, I think injustice or unhealthy population in one part of the world will uh, disturb the, uh, the other part of the uh, human um, body. So uh, that should be uh, discussed and that should be solved, actually. I think it can be part of the solution, but they have to discuss the, uh, the reality in the ground rather than uh, nice, uh, discuss, nice speeches. Um, I, I did one of those <laughs> speech, but I think it should be um, dealt with the reality in the ground and see the, uh, the health problem or access to health as a basic human rights to everybody and to, uh, to facilitate that access to healthcare. I think first of all, in my view, uh, it does require a political will within the uh, leadership of every state that they have to look at the um, right to health as a basic human rights and a fundamental human rights and they have to uh, fulfill their obligation. And that could be the um, access to health care, uh, a good quality of health care to everyone, including uh, of the vulnerable groups like women, children, and people with disability, uh, the migrants and refugees who doesn't have legal status, and the people with HIV AIDS and other communicable disease. I mean, HIV AIDS is one of the main problem, but in countries like us, we have tuberculosis as one of the problem that exists. We don't speak too much about the HIV AIDS, but in reality, it does exist. If we think about our future and the human dignity, we have to be uh, optimistic and we have to tackle this uh, as a problem.